Hi, last week I made a video by the Little River uh, reporting a big barrel of oil that was left by the side of the river around that area. Um, I got a great amount of response from you guys, from my friends, from everybody from Facebook. And uh, it happens that I met um, a friend here in this area that was picking up the trash around this area and we spoke about the issue. Today I'm here again at the same spot where I met uh, my friend Zach. It happens that I met it that day. And he's also concerned about the environment and uh, we together have been working on trying to get a solution for this issue. Some of the things that we found out uh, while trying to resolve the issue, i.e. getting the barrel of oil removed and the oil that spilled onto the bank of the Little River right over by the locks off of 82nd Street, uh, we found that it's not as easy as one might think to get something like this removed. Uh, as hazardous as it is, and as, as there are endangered species like manatees uh, a dozen feet away or less uh, from the spill site. Uh, so it's been a learning process. Moral of the story is the barrel is removed. Um, and we're gonna be talking a little bit about some of the steps that can be taken if you end up seeing uh, waste being dumped, hazardous waste being dumped or any waste and uh, some steps that you can take to uh, take action. So the first step would be to call 911 and report a non-emergency. That is if you caught the people dumping the illegal trash on the act. Step two would be to decide whether or not the material is hazardous, i.e. paint, oil, tar, things like this. If it is hazardous, you would contact Derm Miami. Uh, if it is not hazardous, you would call 311 and make a report. Again, always remember when reporting these incidences to get a case number as to make a follow-up and follow up promptly and regularly if necessary. As you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done. The barrel of oil was removed, but uh, I mean, there's a pile of asphalt right here in front of us. There's several piles of trash, new trash bags in a pile of trash on the river that's been there for over a week since we met the very first time around April 28th. Um, but uh, yeah, we look forward to meeting with you all. And if you want to get involved in any of these projects, please contact, contact us. us through Facebook so we can make a bigger team of people concerning for the environment. By the way, I want to thank Pedro Rodriguez and Paloma Dueñas for helping passing that information that was very helpful in um, actually solving the problem with a barrel of oil. We still need to solve other issues. And uh, I would like to thank uh, on behalf of Derm and uh, Michael Graham actually executed the, the barrel removal. He, he contracted some folks to uh, get that barrel of oil out and gave me a message or he text messaged me letting me know it was done. So uh, Michael Graham, kudos brother. Look forward to working with you more. Thank you. Bye.